Good morning, I'm Doreen Peterson, President of the Australasian College of Health Sciences. We are here today uh, at uh, Sherwood Lavender Farm, uh, which belongs to Erica and Theo Yigzau. Erica is the Senior Vice President of the Australasian College, and I'm President of the Australasian College. And we are delighted to introduce uh, Robert Seidel, President of the Essential Oil Company, who's also an expert distiller. And he is kindly um, out here today with this wonderful still that he's designed and built. And uh, we're going to do, be distilling all this lavender that we've harvested. So Robert, can you tell us what you're doing right now? Well, right now we've got our boiler up and running, ready to produce steam. And now uh, the retort is ready to be filled with lavender. And that's what we're doing. We're putting our raw material in, which we're going to distill. Yeah, you have to pack it as tight as you can. And the reason you do that is to avoid reflux and also maximize your yield. Let's get some more. So can you tell us a little bit about what reflux is? What happens is the, uh, the steam will pass through the plant material and cool on the way up and then drip back down as a liquid. And that's reflux. So we want to minimize the uh, impact of reflux because reflux can cause a bit of hydrolysis in your oil and water. This is uh, lavendin, it's not lavender. And I'm expecting probably a 1.2% yield somewhere in there. And generally speaking in this uh, size apparatus, I can get the uh, product of about 43 plants, 43 lavendin plants in one, one batch, and uh, I'll distill it for, after the, the essential oil and water breaks through, I'll distill it for an hour. And I cut off, uh, I cut off at the hour's time because I realize I'm gonna waste more fuel, uh, more value in fuel than I would obtain value in essential oil. So I stopped the distillation at about an hour. And Robert, can you tell us a little bit about um, distilling the stem and the flower in well, this particular I, I, optimum, uh, optimum would be to minimize the stems. And part of that is uh, the stems don't contribute any much uh, positive uh, uh, impact on the oil. There may be a bit of more camphor in the stems, but uh, this is what we've got to deal with. It, this is the way it was harvested so we can do it. And uh, stems take up a lot of unproductive room and you have to, you have to um, uh, heat up that unproductive material. So that takes energy. So if you can minimize your stems, that's great. If not, well, that's the way it is. Robert, can you tell us what you're doing? Well, I'm packing the still as tight as I can in order that I can get as much raw material inside the distiller. And the reason I do that is, again, uh, twofold. One, to minimize reflux. And secondly, of course, to maximize my yield per batch. The more, the merrier. The more raw material you have. Let me just get a couple of bundles. I don't need the whole thing. Uh, the more oil you're going to make. I, I expect uh, under normal conditions I could probably make about two and a half pounds of oil per batch from this particular plant and get some more. And can you tell us about um, if there are holes in the plant material inside the reef, what happens if it's not well, packed? Well, if it's not, if it's not packed you get uh, rat holes where the Steam is uh, steam follows the path of least resistance. So if you have a rat hole or uh, a uh, big space for the uh, steam to go through, that's where it's going to go, and you won't get adequate coverage with the rest of your plants. Is uh, there's no water in the retort? It's purely steam. I'm just going to introduce steam from my boiler. I have an eight eight horsepower, low pressure steam generator. 
and um, so there's no pressure. Well, yeah, there will be pressure coming in. I bring the uh, when I when I turn on the steam, it's a low pressure, low pressure. steam generator. Okay. I turn on the steam and I bring it into the distiller at about a half a pound uh, pressure. And uh, what I like to do is have it come in uh, slowly. If you can hand me some of that, it'd be great. Have the steam come in slowly so it heats the plant material. You get a latent heat transfer through the uh, the stems and the flowers and everything's got to be heated. So I do it nice and slow. So this will basically be the product. This container is holding about 43 plants worth of uh, leavened in. And we still have more room. Smells great, doesn't it? Now, of course, I'm bruising the material a little bit, but not much else I can do at this point with it. Well, so it's taken me about 45 minutes to get my boiler up to uh, steam temperature. And um, it's starting with cold water at around 50 degrees. And uh, my boiler is operated with uh, propane. Uh, it's relatively uh, economical. You don't use too much fuel per batch. Just one couple more handfuls and then we'll shut her up. I think that should be good. Okay. okay, now it's in there pretty tight, packed as tightly as I could. Now it's time to close it up. It's a beautiful warm day today. Is it better? Does the weather affect this delation? Oh, uh, well, you know, if it's cold, it's going to take longer for me to get my boiler up and running. And then it, um, cold temperature affects my, affects the retort because it uh, transfers heat. So this uh, retort cools down and then things take a little bit longer. And you have reflex problems to deal with, so. That's just because of the, yeah, no, that's okay. These come up? Yeah, the washer goes on top. Sometimes you have to undo them. And you designed this still? No, I didn't design this one. Oh, you didn't? I didn't, no. But you do design distillation? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And what other materials do you use? Well, we have two. We have stainless steel, food grade uh, stainless steel, very High quality. That's what this is. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. And we also have copper. And copper is uh, copper is good, but not for all plants. And uh, and do you uh, teach distillation? Uh, we do. We um, we have students come and join us in uh, on the island of Syros in the Greek uh, Cyclades where we distill in a 100 liter copper alembic distiller, very old traditional distillation apparatus. 